This is Twit. Here is a story I was going to save for Jeff, but since he isn't here, I feel like like someone has to tell you about it for him. The story pulls all the things together that Jeff loves in one tight package. We have Ubuntu, NVIDIA, and CUDA. So if you've, <laughs> if you've ever tried installing CUDA and Ubuntu, you probably know the drill. And if Jeff were here, he could likely confirm. But from what I have heard, it's a bit of a mess. The process starts by downloading a file from NVIDIA's site, adding a GPG key, pin a repository, then hunting for the right, right packages and, you know, going through that whole fun ordeal. Well, that's about to change, at least for if you're using Ubuntu. Canonical, the folks behind Ubuntu, just announced that CUDA is coming straight into the official Ubuntu repository, which means one command. That's it. No more juggling keys, repos, and downloads. Just install the same way you'd install any other package. Now, why is this such a big deal? Well, CUDA uh, is short for Compute Unified Device Architecture. is what lets NVIDIA graphics cards do more than just graphics. It's pretty much why it's pretty much why Jeff hasn't been able to leave NVIDIA for AMD yet. Mm-hmm. It turns them into parallel computing engines for things like training AI models, crunching scientific data, powering robotics, and and even speeding up video work. It's everywhere in modern computing, and having it backed directly into Ubuntu makes life a lot easier. Well, for people like Jeff. I don't have an NVIDIA card, so whatever. Um, And we all know when it comes to Jeff, the easier the better. This also plays into a bigger strategy. Strategy. Canonical and NVIDIA are teaming up to make Ubuntu a go-to platform for AI and enterprise workloads. But AMD isn't being left out. Although they aren't directly teaming up with Canonical, they are pushing their Rock M compute stack, the CUDA-like competitor, uh, to be just as easy to deploy, deploy on Ubuntu and all the other Linuxes. So bottom line here, what used to be a multi-step headache is about to become a one-liner that, that saves time, reducing friction, and makes Ubuntu an even stronger choice for anyone working in AI, data science, or high-performance computing. Interesting. Now, that means that they are shipping closed-source code as part of the Ubuntu repositories. I guess they're already doing that with the uh, NVIDIA drivers. Yeah. Yeah, it's coming, not the first thing. It's not the first. Coming from Fedora, though, I'm still I'm a little uh, disappointed. Yeah, you Fedora guys, like what? Cl- closed source? What <laughs> in the repo? <laughs> yeah. If you enjoyed this clip, be sure to check out the Untitled Linux Show. You can find us in your favorite podcasting app, or subscribe to our YouTube channel down in the links below. See you there. <laughs>